let's take a look at the Smart Notebook 11 Adaptive Toolbar, the Tools section. We will start with our first option, which is the pens. When clicking on the pens icon, you will notice that you have several different choices that now appear. These are the properties for the selected tool. As we move across, we can look at the different types of pens that are available to us. The pen, the calligraphy pen, the crayon, the highlighter, the creative pen, the magic pen, and the shape recognition pen. Make a selection of the type of pen that you would like to use. The next choice are the colors. If you would like to choose your own color, you can select the color drop down and pick from one of the designated colors or select more and define a custom color that you would like to use. After your color has been selected, you may then check the line style. Select the line style that you would like to use. And finally, your last option is transparency. Now you can begin drawing with your pen and create the type of line that you have customized. Let's look at another pen. New to Smart Notebook 11 is the crayon. With the crayon, you have properties for the different colors by default, or you can choose the color option, select more, and pick a custom color that you would like to use. The crayon works like a crayon would on paper. When you select an area and continue to move back and forth, the coloring from the crayon will get darker, just like it would on a sheet of paper if you were pressing harder. The crayon also gives you options for line styles in this case how thick the crayon is that you are using. Next let's take a look at the shapes. After clicking on the shape option the properties will open up. You have your default shapes, two commonly used shapes already filled in, and our first drop down which gives us the option of additional shapes to choose from. After choosing a shape, the next option would be color. You have two choices here for fill color and line color. Next is the line style, how the line will look that outlines your shape. And finally, the transparency of the shape. After you have selected your choices, out onto your notebook and draw your shape. Notice that your pointer from your finger is still in the plus. If you touch your board anywhere else along the way, it will continue to draw shapes. If you accidentally draw multiple shapes, you can go up and click the undo option or you can highlight all of your shapes and click the red X. Just like in Smart Notebook 10, we're able to click on an object, which will give us a drop down menu of additional choices. The next option in our toolbar is our text. By clicking on the text, you will see a menu that opens with properties for the sizes of the text that are default. You have your options for bold, italic, and underlined, left justified, centered, or right justified, as well as additional text options. When we click on this drop down, you will see that you have choices for mathematics, bullets, numbers, and alignments. You also have the choice for fonts. By clicking on the font and the drop down, you can choose through the fonts that are installed on your machine as well as the size. There is a choice for color for the text and an option for transparency. 
click on your notebook file and add your text. A quick way to change the size of text is to grab a hold in the right hand corner and stretch your text bigger or shrink it smaller. This may be a faster way to size your text than to continually guess which size to type in the text box at the top. Our next option on the toolbar is the regular polygons. When selecting the regular polygons, you will see you have the shapes visible from 3 to 12 with the drop down giving you from 3 to 14. Click on the shape you wish to draw and drag. Now we have made a nine-sided polygon. Again, the plus sign still exists, so if you touch anywhere on your smart board, additional shapes will be drawn. Try to remember to go back and select the arrow. To undo those additional shapes, click undo. The next option in our toolbar are lines. When we open up the properties of the lines, you will see some default choices listed for you. Select one of those that you would like to draw. You can then select a color for that line. You can select a line style and a transparency option and then draw the line. Again, the plus sign remains. If you touch anywhere else on the board, additional lines will be drawn. The next tool on our toolbar is the fill bucket. By clicking on the fill bucket, you have the option to fill shapes that you have already created. Click on the color and the shape to fill it in. A new addition to the fill bucket is that any shape that you have drawn can be filled in using the fill bucket. This is new to Smart Notebook 11. Again, any closed figure that you draw can then be filled in using the fill bucket. The last option on our toolbar is the eraser. What we need to do is we need to have something on our paper that we have created that we would like to erase. Select the eraser, then the size you would like to use. To erase everything on the screen, draw a circle around the object and touch in the middle. Remember the eraser erases pen markings, but does not erase shapes or lines or text. In order to erase those items, you would need to use your select tool, click on the item, click on the delete in your toolbar, or select the delete from your drop down menu, or press delete on your keyboard. This concludes a brief overview of the adaptive toolbar in Smart Notebook 11 looking at the tools and their properties.